Good afternoon and happy Cinco de Mayo. This is Wizards World. I am Jim Rodondi and today we welcome Rebecca MacArthur of Marriott Resorts. Today, Rebecca will help us celebrate Cinco de Mayo by taking us to Cancun, Puerto Verde, and Cabo San Lucas to tell us all about the beautiful resorts Marriott has to offer in these fine Mexican resort towns. As a reminder, we would appreciate it if you mute yourself so there's no background noise during the presentation. And if you have any questions, please use the chat box and we will get to your questions at the end. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. Take it away, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Jim. What a nice welcome. I am going to go ahead and share my screen of my presentation here for you guys. I hope everyone's doing well on this Cinco de Mayo. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, let me actually, okay, perfect. So good afternoon. Um, I am the West Coast uh, and Western Canada sales executive for our Caribbean and Latin American resort team with Marriott International. And I'm very excited to present the Premium and Luxury Resort Collection Mexico edition today. So after the next half an hour or so, I will review the resorts in the region. I'm going to showcase a video of a signature cocktail from the Ritz Carlton Cancun in honor of Cinco de Mayo, obviously. And um, as a thank you for attending, I will send Jim a uh, virtual recipe book that has uh, cocktails and signature appetizers from all of the resorts that we discussed today. So you'll have a little something fun at home. So as I mentioned, I am the West Coast and Western Canada sales executive for the Caribbean and Latin America resorts team. And I partner here with Joshua Poole, who many of you know, I'm sure. Um, and, and I will show you, here we go. So this is the map of the locations that we have. And today I will be reviewing our six premium branded resorts throughout these three destinations that you see here on the map. So the map does show the same destinations of our luxury brands as well, which Josh represents, but I will only be presenting the premium brands today. Uh, but moving west to east, we have the JW, Marriott, and Los Cabos, the Salaz Luxury Collection, which is Josh's, and then the Weston and Marriott and Puerto Vallarta, I will be presenting. We also have the W Punta de Mita and the St. Regis Punta Mita that Josh also represents. And then in Cancun, we have the Marriott, the JW Marriott, and the Renaissance, which I'll review today. And then Josh, on another webinar, will present the, pre the luxury brands of the Ritz-Carlton and Armor House in these destinations. So again, here's a breakdown of the brands that we have throughout Mexico in our collection. So between Josh and I, we have a total of eight different and distinct brands. And I'll be introducing the premium brands, like I mentioned today, which include the JW Marriott, Marriott, Weston, and Renaissance. And then the, the luxury brands below, which are Josh's here, the Ritz-Carlton, W, Luxury Collection, and St. Regis, I won't touch on today, um, but we can definitely do a follow-up. And you will see um, how each one brings their unique attributes. Um, each brand is something very different because in true Marriott fashion, we want to offer something for everyone. But let's first, let's talk about travel requirements. So as we are all aware, international travelers returning to the US must show proof of a negative antigen test within 72 hours of arrival. So to make this as easy as possible for the guests, Marriott has launched an initiative throughout the resort collection to offer complimentary antigen testing for two guests per stay. Um, each of the resorts we are reviewing today, with the exception of the JW Marriott and Los Cabos, provides this offering, but the JW does offer a discounted testing rate of just $25 per person. All of the antigen tests happen on property, so your guests do not need to leave the property, and they're scheduled upon check-in, so it makes it so, so easy on your guests to go ahead and get that taken care of. So let's get this party started. No better place than Los Cabos. So in a paradise where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean, there is no shortage of adventure here. Los Cabos offers something for everyone. Deep sea fishing, world-class golf, scuba, snorkeling, horseback and camelback riding, luxury spas and dancing till dawn. In the destination, we have two resorts that offer an elevated experience, the JW Marriott, which we'll review today, and the Salaz Luxury Collection. As you can see at the top of the map here, the JW sits just minutes outside of San Jose del Cabo and about 25 minutes from the airport, while Salaz is located almost directly in the center of the tourist corridor and about 30 minutes from the airport and just 12 miles from San Jose del Cabo and 12 miles from Cabo San Lucas. So let's visit the JW Marriott Los Cabos first. So we are just 10 minutes from downtown San Jose del Cabo. We're situated in the upscale Puerto Los Cabos community 
and designed by Jim Olson, the resort is truly awe-inspiring. Uh, it seamlessly blends architecture and art with nature. And upon entering our open air lobby, which you can see in that bottom center photo, um, you're greeted by the sea and the expansive infinity pools that really just make it look like you're one with the ocean. It's one of my most favorite arrival experiences in any of the resorts that I have. Uh, and it's usually a guest favorite. So we have 299 guest rooms. This does include our 19 suites, 11 pools, seven restaurants and bars. It includes a signature restaurant, Cafe des Artistes, and we also have over 37,000 square foot of meeting space, which includes our spectacular Emmet patio with ocean views and a rooftop gazebo, as well as an amphitheater. The resort also offers the ultra exclusive Griffin Club. So I describe this as a resort within the resort. It's just 45 rooms. It's in a separate building, which you can see in the top first photo there. That is the, the picture of the Griffin Club and our own private pool. It also has its own butler services and chef services, private spa areas, a movie theater and daily food and beverage offerings. Our expansive 21,000 square foot Joshua Spa, which is pictured in the top right, um, was voted Mexico's best spa in 2020 by World Spa Awards and includes 12 treatment, treatment rooms, an outdoor garden, a vitality pool, and a modern day Temescal. And of course, for all the golf junkies out there, we are situated next to Puerto Los Cabos Golf Resort, which offers one of the most unique golf experiences in all of Los Cabos if you've ever been. There's three distinct championship courses and 27 holes designed by Greg Norman and Jack Nicholas. And there's stunning views from the Sea of Cortez from over 70% of the golf course, which is pretty spectacular. And there is a link here in the presentation for you. So a few more highlights of the resort. This top left photo is our Cafe des Artistes dining room. We do use it for group buyouts as well. We do also have a chef's table that your clients can utilize. It seats up to 12. The center top photo is one of our fire pit cocktail sipping areas. We have about six of these located perched up high on the second floor of the resort. So my favorite place to get a sunset cocktail. The far right is our Sum San Amphitheater event space, which was inspired by an ancient Greek forum and is actually perfectly engineered to have perfect acoustics. So great for live music, great for some really nice group events, um, also really great for weddings. Uh, the bottom left here is a view if you were having your back to the ocean, this is what our, our main pool area looks like. So this is about seven of our 11 pools. We also have a saltwater pool, freshwater, adults only, swim up bar. So we have a pool for everyone. Uh, the middle bottom here is actually our infinity pool that's located in our top presidential suite. So again, we have 11 suites at this resort. All are located all of the larger suites, excuse me, are located in that Griffin Club that I mentioned, and they all have something a little bit unique. So our governor suite offers like an 800 square foot patio, and our presidential has this infinity pool and spa, which overlooks the ocean. So it's pretty spectacular. And then the bottom right is um, a picture of our Temescal, which is located in the spa. And this is a modern version of one of Mexico's oldest spa traditions used by ancient Aztecs as a therapeutic instrument to promote healing, health, and well being. It's a very unique experience. So it seats about 10 to 15. So uh, multi generational trips. Uh, I've had a lot of clients been doing this lately, which is really great. They have all their generations and they go into the Temescal, and it's a guided meditation and a steam room. Uh, it's pretty spectacular. My guests always rant and rave about it. Uh, so something very unique at this resort as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and move east to the quote unquote friendliest city in the world. And our beloved Melissa here with Travel Wizards is currently there at the Marriott Puerto Vallarta on a fam, which is spectacular. Um, so we have an average temperature of 75 degrees year round, uh, second foodie destination in all of Mexico outside of Mexico City with Michelin rated restaurants. Uh, white sand beaches, incredible golf, and Puerto Vallarta has so much more than just a beach. Uh, there's dramatic scenery with all of the mountains, beautiful cobblestone streets, ancient rainforests, um, and in the destination we have four resorts that range from wellness retreat to pure indulgence. So we'll start in Puerto Vallarta proper where we have the Westin and the Marriott, and then again our luxury brands are a little bit outside of that. You'll see the W Punta de Minta and the St. Regis Punta Minta. So starting with our southernmost resort in the destination, we have the Westin Puerto Vallarta. And true to the Westin brand, this resort is all about wellness and relaxation. From our eat well food and beverage offerings to the signature wellness programs, we are all about empowering guests to maintain their routines while indulging at our resort. 
My favorite fun fact about this resort, however, is that we sit on 14 acres of an old palm tree plantation. So literally everywhere you look, you are surrounded. And you can see from the aerial view in that picture there, I mean, we, we have over 600 palm trees on the property. They're each numbered, they're each individually well-maintained and taken care of. And then being right in the heart of the Bay of Banderas, you have the spectacular views of the mountains that sit behind the city as your backdrop to our palm trees. And it's truly just magical. You can kind of see that view from that top right photo of the guest room. And we sit directly across the street from Marina Vallarta, which is full of really cute little galleries, boutiques, and restaurants. And for those who don't want to leave their fur babies at home, this is our um, pet friendly resort for dogs up to 40 pounds. And here's some other highlight photos. This top left right here is our Coco Cart and Fresh Salsa Moto Station. It's huge with guests. We usually have it out for happy hour daily. Um, and it's also a build out for groups and weddings. The second photo I took actually during our FAM in November, and it's one of our wellness breakfast offerings that we had for our group. It has fresh squeezed juices, egg white and veggie omelet with house made pastries. And you'll also notice the individually wrapped items adhering to the COVID protocols. Um, all of my agents love the presentation this resort has, and um, they really do a spectacular job of, of making sure that everything is presented properly and very well sanitized and clean. Third, we have the evening view of our Arecifa Steakhouse patio. Again, you're surrounded by those palms. The bottom left photo is a premium view room, which is complete with our patio jacuzzis. So you can see it kind of overlooks the bay. They're really, really nice upgraded rooms. And then our day beds at the private beach is in that bottom center photo. And then again, another view of our resident palm trees and the bay. And so with that, I'll take us a tad Northwest uh, to the incredible Marriott, which sits just about two miles from the Westin on the bay. Uh, so I always tell my clients that this resort is really something special. The resort is known for their elevated uh, service standards and event excellence. They do execute some of the destination's most spectacular events from Dia de los Muertos festivals to six course custom tequila dinners, which feature the resort's very own tequila Casa Magna. So fun fact, we are the only Marriott in the entire world that produces its own tequila and we do love to show it off. So we have an in-house tequileria or a tequila sommelier, if you will, who hosts our clients for tastings. Then she does tours and gives us all about the history of our tequila and the Casa Magna brand. And then also the end of 2018, we did complete a full renovation. So from rooms to our new fantastic main pool, which is now the largest infinity pool in the destination, we recreated our lobby area, transforming it with a stunning tequila and ceviche bar and added Nosh, which is our two story poolside open air restaurant with a swim up bar and swings that you can see in the first photo there. That's a view of our bottom floor of Nosh. And then the, the bottom left photo here is just actually a picture that I took from my guest room that actually overlooks our new large infinity pool and the bay. And then the bottom right, you can see our new renovated guest rooms. So here's some additional highlights. The first photo being our Tequila Casa Magna collection. I took this photo when I was at the resort uh, back in November, but we do offer Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, and extra Añejo varietals. We offer these as amenities, as upgrades, as VIP um, gifts. People can take them home. We also have our own house made vanilla. So um, again, something extra that you can offer to your clients and they can't get it anywhere else in the world. The second photo is the top floor of Nosh, which is one of our most popular photo spots. And I'm sure you can see why you have 180 degree views of the bay. The top right is the larger of our two presidential suites. And this one comes complete with a baby grand piano. So we do have two presidentials. They're both very similar in size. One is about 150 square feet smaller than the other. They both have wraparound balconies, multiple bedrooms. The larger one also offers a chef table and a full kitchen, which is really exciting. And we do do um, private dinners in there as well. The bottom left is just one of our treatment rooms at our Oatly Spa. It is 22,000 square feet. The bottom center photo is one that I took um, of my clients enjoying the Dia de los Muertos dinner and festival this past year. So again, this resort is really known for their events. And because the Dia de los Muertos parade was canceled, they, the city actually let our resort take um, large build outs from the parade and um, from the individual carts. So we had 70 foot 
um, Caroline's and I mean, everything was just decked out. They hired the painters to come in. So they literally painted all of our guests faces that wanted to do it. They provided the, the women with the floral crowns that you see here. So something really fun and they really do just bring events to the next level at this resort. And then that bottom right photo is a photo that I took of our turtle hatchery. So more than 11 years, uh, Marriott Puerto Vallarta has been a leader in conservation of sea turtles. So we have our own biologist on property and we do organize the releases with guests during the hatching season, which is another very special experience this resort offers. And now heading farther east to one of our more popular destinations, Cancun. So Cancun is recognized throughout the world for its spectacular white sand beaches and its fascinating sea and turquoise blue tones from unique natural wonders and incredible Mayan culture to international cuisine, spectacular golf courses, exclusive shopping centers, shows, bars, and nightclubs, Cancun is like nowhere else. We have five properties in this destination, as you can see here on the map. So four of which sit in the hotel zone proper, and that would be the Marriott and JW Marriott, which I will cover today. And then the Ritz Carlton is about a mile up the beach, and then Armor House sits a little bit closer to the end um, of the hotel zone. And then sitting farther out, we have the Renaissance, which is located in Puerto Cancun and in the marina that you would take to go to Isla Mujeres. So just a little bit of an idea of where we're located here. So we'll start at the Marriott Cancun with our toes in the sand at Sac Bay Beach Shack, which is pictured on the top left. This is our Tulum inspired lounge that sits directly on our iconic beach, usually equipped with a live DJ, swinging bar stools, Mexican street food and dine in the sand tables. It is first of the kind in the destination and definitely the hot spot right now. The second photo here is of Sassy Thai restaurant, which was also the first Thai restaurant in the destination when it opened. So I mentioned these two innovative restaurants because it demonstrates kind of the vibrant and ever evolving theme that this resort in particular um, brings to the table. And this really does come directly from our vice president and general manager. So I can't really talk about the Marriott and the JW Marriott without talking about our colorful general manager, Mr. Calabrese, who oversees both resorts. So for those of you who book these resorts often, I am certain that you have met him. He will sing karaoke with you and your clients at Champion Sports Bar, and he is always there to ensure that every single touch point at both of these resorts is spectacular. So this really does set the tone for these two properties. Both are fully renovated as of early 2020. And I do always tell my clients, if you want perfection, head to the Marriott NJW in Cancun. So here are some additional highlights of the Marriott. There's views from our suites in photos one and two. So from the balcony views there, you can see where we sit on the ocean. You can get a nice pool view. And then you can also see in that first photo, what looks like the lifeguard shack. That's our Sac Bay Beach Club. So that's where you'll see underneath where those palapas are is where the beach club sits on the sand. So pretty spectacular location. Um, the top right, we have our newly renovated lobby area and check-in area. So um, it just kind of goes to show those of you who had, had been at this resort when it was the Casa Magna, it looks entirely different now. So this used to be all wood and very authentic Mexican um, kind of a vibe. And now, as you can see, it's just white marble, very chic, very elegant. The bottom left is another photo of Sac Bay Beach Bar if you're facing towards the bar from the beach. Um, and then the middle is our Kasai Noodle Bar. So this is just one of our six restaurants that this hotel offers. Um, and then our stunning newly renovated lobby bar, which kind of flows out of that check-in space that you see at the top. Those kind of blend flawlessly together. So you can definitely see the upgraded here. And then sitting right next door and technically connected to the Marriott through our meeting space, we have the JW Marriott, which is also newly renovated, absolutely breathtaking. Our motto for this renovation was a new point of blue. And you can definitely see why in all of these photos. This resort has it all. It has an award-winning spa. This one has an actual air-conditioned outdoor event space called Tulum Terrace. Very, very popular. It can seat up to a thousand people pre-COVID, so maybe 500 now. <laughs> Three specialty restaurants and 74 suites. Yes, I said 74. So we are fantastic for groups looking for an elevated experience, multi-generational trips, the socially distant traveler. We literally have a suite for everyone. We also feature the exclusive JW Club 91, which is located on the 11th and 14th floors. And here guests experience the exclusive privileges of a concierge lounge, upgraded amenities, five exclusive food presentations daily, and an open bar. And the food presentations are presentations from the restaurants that we have between the Merit and the JW, which is fantastic. So they really kind of get to taste a little bit of everything. 
additional highlight photos at this resort, uh, one of our suites on the top left and a shot of our renovated guest room bathrooms all have this amazing agate backdrop and those stunning bathtubs. The third photo is of the Club 91 Lounge. The bottom row here shows our lobby bar, which is the only bar in the destination that offers over 150 unique specialty crafted mar margaritas curated by our team of innovative mixologists and tequila, conno tequila connoisseurs, excuse me. Uh, the next photo is actually of me holding one of our signature margaritas in front of our extensive margarita menu. And the bottom right photo is one that I took of an event where we transformed our ballroom into an underwater cenote. So there is really, truly nothing this resort team cannot pull off for your clients and your guests. And also another great perk of the Cancun collection or the JW Marriott campus is that your guests enjoy signing privileges at both resorts. So if they're staying at the Marriott, they can enjoy the bars and restaurants that the JW has to offer as well as vice versa. So guests really love this, clients love this for an elevated experience, you kind of get twice Twice the bank for you back there. And then now we'll head to um, Puerto Cancun. So this is the Renaissance Cancun Resort and Marina. And this hotel is a little bit special because it's not your typical resort, but more of an urban chic escape situated in the marina. So it has its own yacht dock with the capacity for 40 boats. We have two specialty restaurants, a cafe and a stylish hotel bar. Something to note about this resort is our waterfront, but we do not have our own beach. So in true Renaissance fashion, we have tons of little golf carts that take you about a five minute golf cart right away to our private beach club. So the top left photo here is a guest room. This is a standard guest room and you can see the views out of the marina. The bottom right photo is a photo of the pools at the beach club. So again, it's a private beach club. It does sit on white sand beaches as well and then offers tennis courts, pools, um, food and beverage, there's restrooms there. So it's really kind of a unique experience. That bottom left photo here is of our pool at the resort, which sits right on the marina. So we do have a little bit of an infinity pool that sits right out there. Some other highlighted photos. The top left is, is a, our junior suite living room. Uh, and as you can see, it heads right out to the marina and then out where you can actually see Isla Mujeres from most of our suites. Uh, the top center photo there is our billiards and video wall, which is in the lobby. So very Renaissance uh, brand. The third photo to the right is a view of the resort from the actual marina and to the left where that bridge is, the, the yacht dock sits just a little bit further left to that. So really a really elevated experience if you have anyone that charters, it's a really fun, um, really fun way for them to, to get to and from the resort. The bottom left here is our cafe. The middle photo on the bottom is our Zec bar where typically we have live DJs and we do themed events every month um, with the Renaissance brand and then some, some food installations as well. And then the bottom right is another photo of that beach club that I mentioned. And so with that, that concludes our presentation of the premium branded Mexico Resort collection. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. Uh, Josh and I both have so many photos of our clients and ourselves experiencing these resorts and the destinations. Um, so if you need anything, I would love to, you know, to send anything your way. I do have a video of um, one of our specialty cocktails at the Renaissance Cancun that I'd love to share with you. So I will go ahead and hit play. Good afternoon, my name is Javier. I am mixologist from the Ritz Carlton Cancun. Welcome to Be Lounge. Today, we're gonna make a special cocktail. The name is Brown 157.
seven and thank you for joining us so such a fun i just you know wanted to throw that in there because it is cinco de mayo and javier is one of our best mixologists so if you go down to the carlton cancun anytime soon please do say hello and that recipe is actually in the recipe book that I will be sending to Jim to send you. I don't expect you to know how to steam your own glass, but trust me, I've been trying to do that at home. I need to get a little wood plank and figure out how to do it. <laughs> um, and I also don't make my own bitters, but apparently there is a bitter shortage in the world, COVID-19. So he made his own um, bitters for that cocktail as well. But that recipe and others for all of the resorts we covered, plus Josh's resorts will be in this recipe book. There's a little screenshot of what that looks like. And it's just a PDF that you can print at home and enjoy a taste of all of our Mexico resorts in your own home. And that's well, Rebecca, all I have. Well, Rebecca, thank you very much. That was very enlightening. And now that, that cocktail, I mean, that's a lot of labor of love that he had going on there. I can tell you I that. know. When he, when he starts to make his own uh, own ingredients, you, you know you know that's obviously coming straight from the heart. So definitely something worth, uh, worth stopping by if we're at that particular property. I do see that there's a, one, one or two questions in the chat box. Okay. And the first one has to do on vaccinations. And yep. if they are completely vaccinated and their two weeks have passed, and mm -hmm. so everything is good, do they still need to take the COVID test? You still need to have a PCR test to come back into the United States for now. I don't know if that will change. That's a United States rule. Um, but that is, as of now, regardless if you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, everyone has to have an antigen test within 72 hours of coming back to the mainland. Okay, so that is a CDC rule for our country, not a Mexican yeah. rule. Absolutely, okay. yes, it is go. not a okay. Mexican rule. There are no mandates in Mexico, which is woohoo, which is great right now, <laughs> as far as that goes to get back. <laughs> well, then, as also though, as you mentioned right at the beginning, um, the COVID testing usually at these at these resorts is is rather easy because you supply them right there on site and yeah. free of cost, except for I believe you said one resort which was minimal at twenty five dollars. Yes, yeah, so the JW Marriott in, Can uh, in Cabo, excuse me, right now um, is the only one that currently charges in our collection and that's $25 per person. They still do the testing on site and they'll take care of all of the scheduling. So, um, and all of the other resorts that I covered here, as soon as you check in or upon check in, they schedule you your time to have your antigen test. You do obviously have to be staying at the resort more than 72 hours, right? Because you need the test to be within 72 hours for it to be complimentary. And it is for two guests per room that we offer them complimentary. So we've tried to make it as easy as possible. Some other destinations, um, you do have to go elsewhere. Some of my Caribbean destinations, we still have to go to one of the local areas that do it. But all of our Mexico resorts have brought it on property and they've done a phenomenal job. Fabulous. Okay, then, and, and all these resorts, um, what we have, what we book a lot of is, is multi-generational from grandparents down to grandchildren. Is, is there a favorite one or two that maybe travels that way? Or are they all maybe friendly for multi-generations or some maybe slided more you know, towards the adults? Most are pretty multi-generational friendly. Um, of this collection that we just went through, the Renaissance would be one that I don't necessarily recommend for the family trip necessarily, unless they're a family that's always on the go. Um, but there's just not as much variety of room type and location. Um, but Puerto Vallarta, the Marriott does a phenomenal job and there's so many sweet offerings. Everything connects so you can really kind of customize how you want to make that look. Um, I've booked a lot of clients into the JW in Cancun as well for this reason because of all of the suites that we have and some connect. So you can actually, you know, have some pretty large spaces. Um, really all of them really lend themselves to be that friendly, but I would definitely say that the Marriott Puerto Vallarta and the JW Cancun do it very, very well. Okay, and then I saw that on the West End Puerto Vallarta, on one of the little spiels there, it said it was pet friendly. It is. Um, okay, so, so that should be something that we should let clients know that, you know, there could yeah. be pets on board. Is there a size limit to the pets that some of these people bring? I mean, I don't know if too many of our clients that like to bring uh, travelers that like to go to bring bring their pets but i know that there's people in this world that do and and that might yes. be you know a turn on or a turn off so what, what size pets can we maybe expect at, 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 at yep you can have dogs up to 40 pounds so a pretty decent size dog can come with you um you know again airline restrictions are a little bit different but pets up to 40 pounds are welcome at this resort i have a lot of clients that have booked this resort for that specific reason they and it's also a spectacular location i mean you're the 
literally across the street from the from the little Marina Vallarta. Um, so there's so much to do right there. And the, the property is just stunning and they're very, very pet friendly. Traditional with the Westin brand in general, most Westins are pet friendly. Um, but yeah, so up to 40 pounds would be the max. There. I love pets. So that would not be a deterrent to me. I, I, would, I would think that would be great, actually. Yeah. <laughs> to have the My dog is around. a little too big. She can't come, but you know, <laughs> if I had a smaller well, one, she could. <laughs> Well, somebody else is looping around to back to the multi-generational question again uh -huh. and activities for children. Are there on-site activities for children? Yes. So at all of the resorts I mentioned, uh, except for the Renaissance Cancun, again, because it's a little bit more of an urban hotel than it is a resort, but all of the other resorts that I mentioned do have a kids club. So the JW and Cabo, their kids club is spectacular. They have the most fun um, set up in there. And again, they have a huge game room and a movie theater. So that's kind of a different setup than most. The Westin and the Marion Puerto Vallarta have these stunning outdoor spaces as well. Um, the turtle programs, the sea conservation program is huge at the Marriott in um, Puerto Vallarta. Also the Marriott in Cancun does offer the sea turtle program as well. So at those resorts, the kids programs are not just geared towards, okay, let's go play at the beach and have fun. They do a lot of education as well and get the kids really involved in the conservation of sea turtles, setting up the hatchery, helping us dig the, you know, the nests for the babies. So they're really, those two are probably my favorite that I recommend for people traveling with young ones. The programs are just really stellar at the resorts. Oh, fabulous. That's, that sounds yeah. great. Maybe I'll bring my grandchildren there. <laughs> <laughs> and now I know on the map, that you showed of, of the of the three areas. These places look like they're so far spread out, but I know that they're really not that far spread out and that the towns are probably fairly close. So uh, transportation, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine their walking distance, but you know, like to downtown, I mean, how, how do you know, people that wanna get off site maybe every once in a while, go in and explore the town and the area. How, how does that work? So depending on the destination, and I was trying to put this back in presentation mode, of course, it's gonna make me start at the beginning. Um, for instance, in Cabo, it's a little bit harder because we're a little bit farther away, right? Cabo's a little bit more spread out where our resorts are. The GW Marriott is literally 10 minutes from Cabo San Jose or San Jose del Cabo. Uh, we do have transportation, a DMC on property. Epic DMC sits on the JW Marriott grounds. So very easy to get your transfers, very easy for them to set up as far as getting you into town. To go to Cabo San Lucas is about a 40 minute ride from the JW and it's about a 25 minute drive from Solaz. So a little bit further away from San Lucas, but very close to San Jose del Cabo, which if, of those of you who are not familiar, it's the old world Cabo, right? So it's the cobblestone streets, the old Western looking facades. It's all been redone with fancy art galleries and beautiful restaurants, um, but it is a little bit more of that old world Mexico feel, which I love. And then we're very close to like Flora Farms Acre, which are some of the top restaurants in the destination, those are up in San Jose del Cabo area. So if that gives you kind of an idea. And then if you're talking about Puerto Vallarta, the Marriott and Weston are within five minutes to the, the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta, which is kind of that downtown promenade. And then both are across the street from that Marina Vallarta. So you're in walking distance to those restaurants, shops, and um, bars there but then it's about a five minute, maybe 10 minute if there's traffic to get to the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. And then the W Punta de Mita and the St. Regis are a little, much further out, yes. right? So you'd, you'd be taking a little bit of a ride. But again, we have you know the concierges at each property that can help you get to wherever you're going. And then Cancun is actually, since we're right smack dab in the middle of the hotel zone, if I can get back there. Um, I hope I went too far. So the Marriott JW Ritz Carlton, right in the middle of the hotel zone, they have, you know, completely redone that whole hotel strip of road, right? So they have that public bus that's like a dollar. I have so many clients tell me that's one of their favorite experiences, right? You hop right on at the hotel, you just go right down to any of the shops. The Armor House is actually right next to the La Isla Shopping Center and all of that. So that's very walkable. Um, otherwise, the Marriott JW and Ritz Carlton is probably like a three minute drive to anything that you'd want to go to. You could walk it, but it's, I would recommend taking the cute little, you know, tram system that they have or like the little bus things that they have that the shuttles is the word I'm looking for. Uh, but very walkable. And then again, all of the resorts help you with all of your transfer information. Okay, so, so it's a very close-knit area and easily to get to where some of the off-site action is. 
Yes. And my favorite thing about Cancun and Puerto Vallarta is that you're so close to the airport. So you're like a 10 minute drive from the airport in Cancun and Puerto Vallarta, we're literally two miles from the airport. Yeah. So it's so easy and so quick. That's probably my favorite thing. <laughs> well, cool. Well, if uh, folks, if you have anything left uh, that you need to ask, if you could put it in the chat now, uh, we'll give you another minute or so to see if they have any other questions. Otherwise, as always, we know that questions don't end tonight when Rebecca leaves. If uh, we have questions, we can always reach out to her uh, later on, whether it's tonight, tomorrow, next week, or next month. So I don't see anything else coming in the chat now. So Rebecca, I do want to thank you for, for letting us uh, in on all of your resorts in these three beautiful Mexican resort towns. Uh, thank you very much for that. And thank we do appreciate it. Maybe, maybe we'll get to have uh, Josh come, come by sometime and, and talk about the other properties as well. So thank Absolutely. you very much for your presentation. Of course, I know he would love to. We should have just done a, a mutual one, but it just gets to be a little long when we're going through you know, 15 resorts. Yeah. We do also have a Caribbean collection. So I do have 11 resorts um, throughout Puerto Rico, Aruba, Carousel. We just brought on um, a brand new collection in Barbados called Elegant Hotels that are now ours. And we have a ton of new inclusive. Okay. I'm sure you've all heard, Marianne is going inclusive this year with true all inclusives with Blue Diamond and Delta. So we have all of those presentations as well. We'd love to come back anytime. Okay, well, Rebecca, again, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. And for everybody, we will be here again next Wednesday at 4.30. Um, so we hope to see you then. Rebecca, again, thank you very much. And until next week, you have yourself a good night. Take care. Have a great night, you guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo.